欢迎来到我的主场。Hello, good evening, everyone. So, yeah, happy New Year. So, how's your preparation for your Chinese New Year? So, yeah, today I'm do,、uh, doing my this、uh, episode number three on this、uh, asset planning. As I mentioned last week, today I'll be doing on this、uh, LPA, lasting power attorney. So, I'm not sure any of you know what is LPA.、Uh, let me know if you're online yeah, before I start. Yeah. So, how's my room? I do some decoration. Just for this、uh, event, yeah. Okay, let me just go direct to the、uh, today presentation. Okay, so anyone know as a LPA, through a lasting、uh, LTA, right? Lasting、uh, power attorney, you can appoint a person or persons, right, to step on、uh, to manage your personal welfare and、uh, financial affair. When you ever become a、uh, mentally、uh, incapacity, so this、uh, LPA is considered an、uh, essential part in、uh, estate planning and、uh, financial planning process, just like a will. Yeah, because、uh, if you do not have an LPA, right? So when you lost your mental capacity, your family will have difficulties、uh, paying for your bills and、uh, also accessing to your bank accounts, and also dealing with your business、uh, interests. Let me just、uh, go to my this uh, uh, slide. So as I mentioned, the、uh, LPA just、uh, appoint a person or persons. Nah,、huh? let me just go to a case study. John、uh, has just retired from his this、uh, engineering job when、uh, become mentally、uh, incapacitated. So at the age of seventy,、uh, he was、uh, in the midst of、uh, selling his、uh, condo to fund his this、uh, retirement. So he was unable to perform the transaction, right? Because Uh, diagnosed of this、uh, dementia,、uh, his daughter Mary needed to、uh, come in to help to complete the sales of this condo on his behalf, also to access his、uh, bank accounts for transaction. Unfortunately, this John Lai、right, does not have an LPA, and、uh, Mary had to、uh, apply to be a deputy right with a lawyer assisting with the application. So actually, it cost her about six thousand dollars, and it took six months for the application to be approved. So imagine if John would have a LPA, a simple、uh, instruction, she can、uh, actually help to do all these things without any hassle. When someone who making the LPA, right, we call them donor, and donor is the person that you appoint to、uh, make decision. So there are two type of donors. One is called PWD. PWD stands for Personal Welfare Donors, and PAD stands for Personal Affair Donors. What is the power of、uh, donors?、Uh, in the event of certified donors, right, who are mentally incapacitated, the donor right have powers to decide and act on act in the in your best interest. Ah,、uh. so for PWD right, they can、uh, decide where you should live. And、uh, also your day-to-day -day care、uh, decision, even、uh, what to wear and、uh, what to eat, also. And the third one is the handling of your all your document, your letters, your mails, your emails. They also can decide who you may have contact with. And the fifth one is the healthcare, basically it's the healthcare and medical treatment decision. Whereas for PAD, right? PAD they help you to decide on the、uh, buying, selling. Even renting or even mortgaging your property. Second one is to、uh, operating your bank's account, and also managing your CPF monies, and uh, also uh, paying for these、uh, household、uh, expenses, and lastly to、uh, purchase any equipment that you may need. So for、uh, some matters, right, that、uh, PAD right cannot decide for you. That include executing a wills. Making a nomination of、uh, insurance、uh, benefits, as well as this、uh, CPF、uh, nomination. Do choose your donors carefully. Okay, let's go to、uh, this、uh, one case study. Right, I'm not sure some of you still remember about this、uh, China tour guide story. Yeah, I think some of you still remember. Right,、uh, the story is、uh, this、uh, former tour guide from China. His name is called Yang Ying. He was jailed nine years in March two thousand and seventeen. 
for cheating this uh, wealthy widow, Madam uh, Chuan Ki Chun Hai. After their first meeting in uh, 2006 in China, when she was going there for a holiday, she met this uh, tour guy. So the pair become uh, very close. And uh, Yang Ying uh, moved to her, this uh, condo in Singapore, uh, sorry, not condo, to her mangro in Singapore with his family in uh, 2018. Madam Chuan also appointed Yang Yin right, to be her sole PWD and a PAD in 2012. And Madam Chuan, who has uh, no children, was diagnosed with uh, dementia in uh, 2014. And in four years, right, this Yang Yin drained all her case saving right, from 2.7 million right, to amount of 10,000 in her bank account. 2.7 to 10,000, that's a lot of money, right? And in uh, 2010, she dropped a will that um, this uh, former tour guide, right, stood to uh, inherit all the widow's asset worth 40 million. 40 million, that's a lot of money. Choose your Tony carefully. Yeah, if you don't know who to choose, you can come and look for me. Right? <laughs> Most of the common choices right, for family, right, making uh, when they choose the attorney right most common one is a uh, husband and wife uh, appointing uh, one another second one is the parent appointing a child it can also be sibling and a relative uh, appointing one another for those who are single and or couples uh, without children and has no family members to rely on actually uh, they can consider appointing a professional donors to act on their behalf in fact, uh, you can find a list of uh, professional donors on this uh, OPG uh, website. What is OPG? OPG stands for Office of Public Guardians. So uh, before I go to FAQ, if you have any question that you would like to know but I have not uh, answered here, right? you can always type in a comment and I will answer your question. Is that okay for you? Okay, let's go to uh, question number one. What's the difference between an LPA right, and a will? Anyone have any idea? In fact, a will, right? Take effects only after the will maker pass away. All right. Whereas for LPA, takes effect when the donor loses his uh, mental capacity while he's still alive. And the will will actually deal with the distribution of a person asset to his loved one on his death. Whereas for LPA, right, it deals with the donor's asset for the donor's own benefit. So the asset remains to be with the donor, whereas for a will, the asset is distributed. So let's come to uh, question number two. Can we do something to reduce the risk of a uh, diagnosis with this uh, dementia? Yeah, in fact we can. Uh, we can lower the risk of uh, this dementia right, through our this, uh, daily lifestyle, right, in fact. Like being physically active, like doing exercise. Second one is to uh, eat healthily and uh, not smoking or less alcohol. Also, uh, try to exercise our mind, uh, like reading books or uh, but joining my this uh, live streaming every week. I will show you that you will not get any dementia. Uh, basically, it's a keyword is the healthy lifestyle. Yeah, so let's come to uh, question number three. So are uh, this uh, Alzheimer's disease right, and dementia the same? In fact, dementia right, is an umbrella term to uh, describe a set of uh, symptoms that occur when uh, brain cells stop working properly. Dementia is uh, caused by, uh, in fact, a number of diseases that damage the nerve cell in the brain. So, uh, most common one is the Azimas uh, disease. Okay, let's go to uh, question number four. If you have uh, started to have a uh, memory loss, is that a sign of uh, dementia? In fact, I, I believe we all experience this symptom. Uh, huh? Sometimes we experience a memory problem when we are depressed or we have uh, insufficient sleep. So this is quite common. So in fact, uh, in order to deem that uh, you are mentally incapacity, right, someone will have to be able, will not able to, uh, will not have this ability, paraphrase the word, yeah, the sentence. Cannot recall what had just learned and cannot explain the pro and cons uh, or why. And also uh, cannot communicate what he had just learned. Uh, whether uh, hand sign, spoken word, or even in writing. Okay, let's go to number five. What's the role of uh, PWD and PAD? In fact, uh, PWD provides uh, appropriate uh, support of care and concern for the donors, just like a guardian, where uh, PAD right, is just like a trustee. So he provides uh, care and concern over the donor's uh, properties. One is uh, living, living wood, one is the uh, 
property. Unlike a trustee, PAD right, does not have a legal ownership of donor's uh, property, whereas the trustee does have the legal right. Let's go to uh, question number six. I believe this is the last question. Is my uh, LPA recognized uh, overseas? Unfortunately not. Those uh, made in Singapore, LPA is only recognized in Singapore. Yeah, if you lost your mental capacity while you're overseas, right, your Singapore LPA would not be recognized in that uh, country. So uh, that's my today sharing uh, on this uh, third episode of this estate planning. Okay, but uh, I'd like to thank uh, those who have joining here tonight during this uh, live streaming or even uh, watching this uh, live streaming after my this uh, post. Uh. So I'd like to take this opportunity to uh, wish all of you have a happy and a prosperous uh, year of Tiger. Oh,